Yiggity, 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 y'all. Yiggity, yiggity, yiggity. What's going on, y'all? So listen, we was out fishing the other day and we did a catch and, we, did, we caught a couple of fish, some pan fish. So we're gonna be doing the catch and cook. I didn't film when I caught the fish, but I was definitely out there slaying them. I only brought a few home for the wife, give her a couple, had something to snack on. But uh, let's show you the what it is. Some nice perch, white perch. And two nice little chunky little bluegills. So just a little few things, but when it's done, it's gonna be nice and crispy, baby. Golden Krispies. So stay tuned. First you wanna scale them. Scale them real good. Get all them scales, get up under there, get up under there. Move down. See how I'm holding this gill plate down so it don't poke you? Hold the gill plate down with your, with, your, with, your, with, your, with your finger so it don't poke you. Keep them under that running water. Scale that tail, scale that tail. Give them another flip. Some unfinished scales. What you think you miss? Throw them in the bowl. Get the next one. Now, I ain't never really taste white perch. I taste yellow perch. But not, not the white. I like the yellow ones. So I hope these taste just as good as those. Side. Up under that dorsal fin. Hold that gill plate down as a shark. Back there. That tail. Same process like I did the first one. She's gonna love these, John. These golden crispies. Flipping. Toss him up there. Get the next one out. Same process. Flipping. Yellow little short, so that was quick. Chunky little bluegill. That one. Right 
looking like he's still bleeding. His tail wiggling like he's still living. Clean that boy. I can get them bigger joints like they got out in Texas. They they bigger and wider than my hands. That's what we working with in the PA. These low walls, young walls, but we gotta get it how we live. Clean them up real good on that side, that trail. YouTube gonna kill me. So I'm gonna show y'all them after they filleted up. Or after I cut them up how I'm on how I'm gonna cook them. I ain't gonna fillet them. I'm gonna just cut the heads off and let them and then fry them like that. So I can get most of the meat I want. So stay tuned. Next step. Nice little chunky little bluegills. Two of them. Three little perch. I mean. Now let's season them up. We're gonna start off with a little bit of a little bit of garlic salt. And a little sprinkle. No. Then we're going to use a little parsley. So they give it a little color, a little flavor. A little bit of MSG. Yeah, that's it. That's all I use. Then mix it around. Mix it around. Make sure you get all that flavor up in there. Up in the inside of there. And all that. Throw them around like that. Like so. Get it all nice flavored up. There you go. Pop these bad boys in the fridge for like five, ten, fifteen minutes. And that's it. Sprinkle some uh, Indian heads, old fashioned stone, grown yellow cornmeal. Sprinkle some of that on it. That should be enough right there. I'm a little dance on it. I 
may not be the best. Chef. Even though they used to call me Chef Rigged D. I'm telling you. When these Jones get done, they're going to be hitting. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Now, usually I put add a little egg wash before I dip it in here, but we just want to do this real quick. You know what I mean, real fast. Quick, fast splash. Get these joints in the grease. You know what I mean? Put them up in that grease. That's it. That's all you do. You know what I mean? Let's drop these bad boys in the grease. Some bad boys cook. Probably about six minutes each side. And there you have it. There you have it. My deep fried fish. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Give me a yiggity yiggity. And let's rock and roll. Peace, y'all. And let me get this fish up out this plate and in my belly. See you when I see you.